गुड डे एवरी वन आई वेलकम यू टू दी एडवांस एयर मोबिलिटी सिम्पोजियम एट द दुबई एयर शो स्टैंडिंग बिहाइंड मी राइट नाउ इज द आर्चर प्लेटफॉर्म दिस इज द अमेरिकन वर्जन ऑफ ई वी टोल्स इट हैज टू एम एफ डीज फुल ग्लास कॉकपेट एंड इफ यू कैन सी ऑन माई लेफ्ट देर आर सिक्स एंड ऑन द राइट देर आर सिक्स रोटर पावर्स और एज वी कॉल दैम fans in common language um this is the uh, american system which is coming up both in the commercial and as well as the military side of things uh, let's have a quick walk around from my right and i'll introduce you to the different types or different categories of powers that that it generates so this is a uh, electric vertical takeoff and landing profile it is confident in generating the maximum effect within the urban mobility uh, it has greater ranges as well it can go into the regional air mobility domain um as i mentioned it has a full glass cockpit this is the passenger version as you just saw you can take four people inside um there is if you see the rotor blades or the fan on top this are droop at the edges this generates more lift less drag same as the wing tips they are also droop to generate less induced drag or lift dependent drag as we know it uh, moving at the back this is composite material purely composite they have a some amount of titanium uh, or aluminum at the uh, wing roots to give it more strength um the challenges of uh, advanced air mobility right now are four front the first thing is there are there is limited standards which are there internationally one to the regulatory framework is a mess um, relating to these two they also have a problem on insurance the risks are relatively high considering urban mobility so it is a problem for the risks to be mitigated um as you can see it is a registered aircraft or registered ev toll meaning thereby it is um, it is a, it can be bought and sold by the owner of the aircraft just like we buy and sell an a buy a car or sell a car as well um it has got the capability of going long ranges higher speeds uh, but the beauty is once again all to do with um, its capability to fly on urban mobility the problem or the challenge that is that is being faced by cities is traffic this can overfly the traffic anything that takes about 40 odd minutes can be brought down to 4 minutes considering uh, flying over traffic it's point to point navigation uh it's gps once again it has a lot of potential in um, in the capability of uh, endurance um it works on lithium ion batteries um so risks is something that it has as uh, it has mitigated and uh, it it will continue to become better as we go through the process i'll i'll quickly show you the uh interior of this um we have uh the cockpit in front It does not have a uh, have a conventional uh, control method just have a quick look here if you can see uh, there are two sticks one on the left one on the right both of them relate to the left and the right of the uh, wings or the rotors it has garmin as the go to mfds um it has a lot of um, a lot of backups a lot of resilience in the domain and if i were to tell you there are two seats here two seats at the back they have also the cap capability of putting in some luggage um we won't be able to open the rear one but there is a there is a cargo compartment at the back as well um this is once again the uh highest end of archer uh, archer's mobility solutions to an urban profile i think that suffices our discussion for this we will talk or continue to talk on urban air mobility or advanced air mobility for a few more times before we disengage and take care of yourself we'll keep in touch bye for now I'm presently um, an academic uh, i've turned from military commercial now i'm into academia जर्मन दिस इज द रियल थिंग 
and um, it's, oh, it's this, this this is this will there's, fly. There's no there's barely any window. How come can the pilot? <laughs> yes, that's the beauty of it. If you can have a look, the other way around. Oh, you have wow. two Garmin MFDs uh, back up in the middle. Uh, you have two sets of uh, sticks, no rudders. They're all coordinated. But is it fully autonomous? No. It isn't. This it was to this. Have yes, this has to have a pilot. It, this is the passenger version. Right. Meaning, thereby there are two and two here, four total. They have a cargo compartment at the back. And is it going to be short, short hop uh, type of? Well, this is. There are two categories of AM, which is advanced air mobility. One is regional air mobility. Yeah. The other is UAM, which is urban air mobility. This is more to do with regional. Reason being, uh, this has extended range. Much like uh, 20, 15 to 20, 30 minute. Yes, any, anything between an hour of a flight would, would be doable. Really? The beauty of it is um, the uh, overall endurance capability because of the lithium ion batteries which are there um, facilitates that longer ranges. But yeah. urban air mobility, as, as we know it, it's all to do with city travel. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you, yeah. if you've yeah. been in Dubai, I've been here for three days. It took me 75 minutes from this place to my hotel. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this will reduce that 75 minutes to seven minutes of a flight yeah. time, point hey, to point. Hey, as the crow flies. Yeah, as the crow flies. Absolutely. So okay. this is a this is a huge solution to the urban problem. Yeah. May it be Chicago, may it be Seattle. Oh, yeah, you yeah, take yeah, a name. Or Toronto. Or Toronto, Toronto. Yeah. So. So but any, probably not in the coldest areas. Well, they they tend to gen because this is all composite. They, they do have a certain amount of aluminum in the wing roots because they want to generate yeah, strength. Yeah. Uh, but the rest is all composite carbon fiber material. So it's high strength, low weight. Um, and it get, gives gives a lot of punch or yeah, bang yeah, for yeah. the buck. Yeah. Oh, but what, what I meant was, you know, even, in, even for Canada going with uh, electric vehicles, I mean, there's still an issue, still an issue, just like here, there's still an issue with temperature. The temperature contrast hmm. here... You know, I flew Hornets, and Hornets, they fly great when they're in the cold. Agreed. As soon as we take a Hornet and we move it down south and go snowbird ops down in Arizona, yeah, stuff starts happening. Yeah, same like the Mirage 3. I flew yeah. Mirage 3 so, for about then, 2000. And so that's... It and put it in a hot, yeah. okay if you, yeah. if you climatize yeah. it there. And I, I also know that, you know, when they start talking about ranges for a car, of course, we don't have that three-dimensional problem, ranges for a car, that the cold does lots and lots of bad things. Yes, batteries, yes, absolutely. Obviously, that would be another hurdle that would have to be overcome. Yeah. Lithium and, ion specifically has a heating issue, not a cooling issue. So if it's in cold temperature, this is my this is my um, learned opinion. In colder temperature, it should work as good as an F-18 Hornet does in Toronto. If you take it south, it's going to be a problem. But let's I've got a bridge this side. <laughs> There's some, some land down in the south. That's yes. Swampy. Yes, but what anyways, was your, what was your name again? Fahad, I am yeah. sorry, I'm all out of cards. Yeah, nah, that's fine. Fazli has yeah, yeah. has my number. I would love to keep in touch with you. I'm in Muscat right now. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm in Muscat. I'm an academic, as I just mentioned. I'm teaching aviation and airport management as a oh, subject to undergrads it. in yeah. um, in in Modern College of Business and Science and across a land forward thrust, just like the V twenty two. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it tilts, yeah. lifts. And then it transitions into yeah, yeah. Ah, so it, cool. and it's good to work on two engines. Yeah. You just so need to. How did just, you get how did you get involved in, in this project? Uh, if you're I'm a researcher as I mentioned. So I research into things. I um, um, hosted a session yesterday on advanced air mobility oh. and cargo. How do we relate the two? So I was there uh, hosting or chairing a session, coordinating a few guys who were from Canada to be very candid. One was J.R. Hammond. He is with the CAM profile, Canadian uh, Aviation Air Mobility, and then there was uh, Amit. He is with them as well. And there was one more guy from um, uh, USA. from USA. Yeah, I'm forgetting his oh, name right good. now. But that's so, yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah, doing yeah. this as research. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so I'm, I'm I'm trying to go into because this is the future. Uh, no questions it's, asked. It's not a question of if. It's yeah, a question yeah. of when. Okay.